ICAD number 14, Follow Your Heart, by Creative Katie, Karen Birchill. Take time to hit the subscribe button. Don't miss any upcoming ICAD or other videos. So after applying a layer of gesso and drawing my flashcard slash ICAD, I am digging out my gelatos. Now these are in the category of things I absolutely had to have and things that I wish I never bought. So since most of my stuff has been packed up and sent to my summer place, temporary location, I have decided I should use these for some of my iCads and cards. So I just scribbled them on and yeah, I didn't like the orange after I activated it, so I got rid of it and just reapplied color with my finger and activating it with a spray spray bottle there. And I like the texture that the baby wipe gives and maybe I'll use that on another card, but this one I my plan was to to pull off some of the gelato through a stencil. So I reapplied some color to get a dark level of color. Trying to dry it as I move the card just to get some of that movement and visual interest into the card. The card here got very, very wet. I kept drying and, and, and adding more color. And what happened was the, the um, gesso cracked. So it kind of looks like the crinkle effect. So here I put my stencil down and I'm removing the gelato by rubbing on it gently to get the color off. And oh, I really like that. Why don't I use my gelatos more? It's very color, it's a very soft color. So here's my Julie Nutting Prima doll. And I have yet to put ink on this girl, so I'm stamping her onto a sheet of dictionary page and setting that aside. Then I'm stamping her parts of her clothing on different jelly prints that I have, and I have two there. So I did the dress out of the one and the headband and her shoes and bodice on another. You really can't see the stamp on there, so you'll have to take my word for it. So I get out my Neo Color 2s and decide to color the hair and activate with water. I love the Neo Color 2s. They are so pigmented and um, easy to use. They are one of my favorite things. Pretty much anything you do with the Neo Color 2s, you can do with the ink, ink tense blocks, you can do with the gelatos. Just depends on the colors that you have. But these are definitely. Um, a higher grade than the gelatos. So I used my Inktense blocks there and I'm not sure what color it was. It's kind of a skin tone but it's a little darker and then I used my um, Neo Color 2 to in white to lighten it. So hopefully I get some shading just because of the two colors that I put on. And actually blending the two different products, no problem at all. Worked wonderfully well. Before I would always take an intense block in white and do it, I like this procedure better. So again, many ways to get to the same end result. So, you know, look at what you have in your stash. Don't necessarily go out and buy. A lot of products will do something very similar. So now I'm paper piecing all the fussy cut clothing and I'm applying it with gel medium. I find this is a great way to use those jelly prints or pieces of jelly prints. And I even did her shoes, which, well, you'll see later. And 
and I'm drawing it off. After fussy cutting it, I am looking at some things in my stash that I have, some sentiments on um, sentiment stickers that I just got at the dollar store that I bought and basically stashed and never have used, so as my goal is to use them. Then I decide that I'm going with this phrase, follow your heart, so I get out this stamp from a stamp set that's of Yvonne's that's spending the uh, couple of weeks with me here and I'm drawing the hearts. Now I use Distress Ink, which as we know is water soluble. So, and as I'm not convinced that the gelatos aren't also going to be water soluble, I get out my Spectrafix. Now Spectrafix is a 100% safe, non-toxic sprayed fixative. And since I have real sensitivity issues with smells, this is what I've purchased. I got it at a, at a sale at a, my art supply store. And yeah, there was absolutely no smell, no side effect at all. So there I'm sticking on the sticker and cutting it to fit where I want to use it. Making sure everything's stuck down. Now I have my Stabilo All Pencil, but this one is in blue, another find at the art supply store. They had them in multiple colors. So, and since I do a lot of dark blue and I like edging with blue, I thought this was the perfect time to, to get one of these. So I'm just activating it with water, going around the doll. Then just edging the card with the same blue Stabilo. I added some other details to the hair, which you'll see in the picture. Thanks for watching.